What's up everybody it is Friday June 1st no baby yet it is D-Day plus three so this is part two of the ARB underhood compressor mount and kind of the uh, electrical setup uh, with that waterproof relay so I'm actually gonna try and make the custom mount today so that's what I'm all set up for all right so let me give you a little idea of what's gonna happen All right, so this is the spot where that waterproof relay box is going to sit down here. So I'm going to use this bolt and this bolt as, um, as my two side mounts here for my plate that I'm going to make. And then down here, there's this bolt right here. So what I'm going to do is use this item, which I've had I have about five of them from when you buy like chainsaws and, and all other kinds of things. I'm going to mount this behind there and this is going to act as a support bracket for the plate. I'm going to weld that up, cut it, and then do that. So right now we're just going to make the uh, template. I'm going to make that out of cardboard. So I'm using an old piece of cardboard, put it here, and I found the two mounting holes, so I actually tightened these down. So now this is my straight edge that I'll be following. So now I'm just going to try and work this out, trim this, trim over here, so it's going to be flat, be sitting inside here, and then kind of it's going to come this way a little bit and then go straight. So I'm going to figure that out now. So I got my basic template set up right here. I just pulled it out. Um, so I'm gonna have to mark the square to cut out for the uh, relay box. Um, right now I pulled out this bolt that's uh, right here. That holds the uh, brake line assembly and everything. So that's the guy I got right here. This is my piece. Uh, it doesn't fit. So looks like about a 16th of an inch. So I'm gonna drill this hole out. So that way this fits in and then eventually this will be like this. And then I can figure out the angle to support the plate. drilled out and if it's all right so now we'll uh, test it out in the Jeep all right so I got that mounted in just gonna have it lean against this plastic housing here. Just so now I got this guy like this. This is gonna help me get the angle.
Yeah, as you can see, that's the angle, so I gotta cut that. All right, so we're gonna do that and test it out. All right, so I made the cut. And I'm just gonna test the fit. All right, so I got the tempo back in and it sits right on top of the uh, support here. So I gotta trim this a little bit because brake line is right there. So I'm gonna bring this in a little bit. Maybe about a half inch. And then I gotta figure out where to cut the box so that way um, it doesn't interfere with these guys. So. All right, almost there. All right, so I trimmed it off a little bit and then I actually pushed the little support bracket through the cardboard. So that's the where the, uh, the leading edge is and then I came back a little bit so I kind of know where that bracket's gonna be welded. So now I just gotta figure out where to um, cut out the uh, main spot for the, uh, the relay box. Alright, so what I did is I took the, the cover for the relay, just placed that in a spot that kind of liked where it was, traced that around, um, just because the way the relay set is, is that there's a little flange lip that has to sit on this plate, and then there's four mounting holes. Um, so I'm using this box as, a, as the reference just to allow for the wires underneath. So I'm going to cut this out and then just test it and see how it works. So there it is. That's the hole cut out. So now that's all done. I trimmed it up a little bit um, to decrease the size a little bit. So now I'm just going to transfer this to um, uh, some, uh, I think I have eighth inch uh, galvanized steel. So I'm just going to use that, cut this out of that, and then uh, got to weld the support bracket on and then test the fit and hopefully it works. the cutout it's the rough cutout I'm gonna drill the two mounting holes and then the four holes um, screw holes for the, uh, the box and that's my point for the welding point so before I clean it up I'm just gonna do a test fit make sure it looks good all right all right so I fit everything through and it fits so I've decided rather than drill the holes for the um, the four mounts here. Um, I'm just going to use self-tapping screws and just tap right into the base once I'm ready to mount everything. I think that'll work fine. Alright, so I'm just going to mount it in the Jeep and see how it looks. Alright, so there it is mounted. There's the hole. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's the support bracket right there that that's going to eventually get. I'm going to weld that on there and uh, get that set up. So right now I still just got to clean this edge. It's not perfect. It doesn't really follow the Jeep that good. And then I just got to um, sand down and burr off the uh, all the cut edges. But other than that, uh, this part's a success. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, if you like the video, uh, subscribe below. Um, give it a thumbs up. Um, 
so that's all I'm gonna do for today it's already been a couple hours of working on that so um, I'm gonna probably do part three tomorrow hopefully uh, still no baby <laughs> and I can actually uh, finish it up and then uh, we'll have a finished product hopefully installed tomorrow all right so uh, tune in thanks for watching see you later